Hello, everybody. This episode of the Smoking Tire Podcast is brought to you by Dylan Optic Sunglasses. You know those awesome glasses that you see me wearing in every episode of the video show? Those are Dylan Optic Sunglasses. They have this cool matte finish lens on them, and it's a special coating. It doesn't reflect. It's really nice. If you're on camera or uh, if you just want to look a little different, they have different colored lenses that are matte finish. They look totally normal from the inside out when you're wearing them. And in fact, the NIR lens technology helps uh, keep your eyes feeling energized throughout the day, filtering out a lot of the harm- harmful UV rays, and uh, I wear them all day, every day, pretty much, and they are great. If you go to thesmokingtire.com and uh, go to the Partners tab, click on that Dylan banner. If you buy a pair of Dylan Optics sunglasses, any size, any style, any color, I will send you a Smoking Tire t-shirt for supporting the people who support the show. Then, there's Beeline Coffee. We have our own uh, roast at Beeline Coffee, the Smoking Tire Roast. Uh, I officially had named it the Roasted Tire, and they did change the packaging to reflect that, so so thank you to them for that. Um, this is going to be the last month. This month uh, is the last month of the roasted tire uh, before we come out with a new blend. Uh, but everyone who's tried the, the roasted tire really, really likes it. If you go to my Instagram, like I, I put some pictures of it up and asked people who had tried it what they thought. There's some reviews up there. Everybody likes it. Everyone I serve it to says it's absolutely delicious. Uh, I gave some to Ben Collins, the Stig. He was a fan and uh, it's really good. This is the last month for it and then we're going to change the formula and have a new roasted tire. But uh, I bought like six pounds of this stuff because I really want to drink it until we develop the next one. It's really good. Code TST gets you 15% off uh, anything at BeelineCoffee.com. Big or small, any order, subscription plans, you name it. Uh, 15% off with code TST. Also, live podcasting. We are doing uh, pretty much all our podcasts live on YouTube now. So if you follow us on social media, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or subscribe on YouTube, uh, you should get a notification when we're going live. We announced it earlier in the day. We are using a feature called Super Chat on the live shows, which allows you, the listener, the viewer, to uh, for a small donation... In fact, you can choose the donation amount, uh, allows you to ask us questions that will appear separately from the comments feed um, in the show, and we will answer your questions on the show if we, uh, in the second half of the show. So once we post that link for the live show, even if we're not podcasting yet, you can go to that link and ask a question in the super chat, uh, and we will answer it in the second half of our podcast uh, for a small donation. Uh, and you choose the donation, and that's during all the live shows which happen on our YouTube channel. Subsequently, we will then put those live podcasts, we take them down, we put them put, put our normal ads on, and then we'll put them back up. Okay? Okay. Let's get on with the show. On this episode, we've got uh, Kyle and James from the No Breaking Podcast. Uh, these guys were uh, both formerly with the Peterson, and I did their podcast when they were with the Peterson. Good quality car people. Now they've got their own show. They're here with us today. Let's get right to it. Kyle and James of No Breaking. Boom! Smoke and Tire Podcast, here we are. Daytime show, and thank God for our daytime shows, folks. The construction outside has ended. They inserted a pipe the size of, I don't know, suburban? A, a suburban? Oh, for sure. And mm. maybe four feet around in the ground outside. And uh, it was not good for when you have a studio. <laughs> oh. But, but Tur- turns I, wonder, out. I wonder why. Turns out there's a jackhammering and and cranes and shit but we've got kyle and we've got james from the new no, oh jesus the new no breaking podcast in studio nice to have you boys thank, thank you. you so much for having us welcome where does bond both of you uh, alumni of the peterson car stories podcast correct yeah. sought okay. out on your own it's almost like you know uh baby birds got pushed it's almost out of the like nest, right? it's almost like david lee roth and sammy hagar started up a band mm-hmm. yeah that's a f- that was terrible yeah and for the record james is sammy that's definitely <laughs> <laughs> i 
like Sammy. That's fine. He's a, he's a delightful man. I like Sammy. What's wrong with the tequila? That's I mean, his tequila is delicious. He's he can't shifting. drive 55. No, he's the Red Rocker, but also he's no Dave. I mean, he's like, he's bad sort of like bad Vince music. Neil, but with like a little less heroin and a little more tequila. And Did he ever Ferraris. murder anybody on accident? No, that's, see, that's, that's, that's why another... I, I will take drunk Sammy Hagar right. over heroin Vince Neil right. in a car crash any day. Okay. I'll just take the car crash instead of listening to either one. Whoa. Oh, Ooh. please. Whoa. Zach. Whoa. F First plus. off, there are a few good like Sammy Hagar, Hagar songs. Good. Jump is a good song. Mm -mm. Hannah has just demanded I'm Jump disagree. be played at our wedding. Mm -hmm. Well, I will. Uh, Fuck, I'll, Jump's I will not good. Be There's some good There's Hagar era. Song. There's some good Hagar era of Halen oh, songs. Oh, some of the worst of the, the hair metal is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Let's. <laughs> Not all terrible. Oh, yeah. so well, the whole, not whole all terrible. We're getting into rat. We're gonna get into docking. Oh, oh just docking. Wait, guys. I mean, how many umlauts? Get all the fucking umlauts bands out there. Yeah. Enough. Enough uh, enough. So you guys are you're struck out on your own talking about cars. Yeah. Yes. On shout engine, I presume. Because we all are. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. I mean, definitely. We're not. <laughs> Thanks, Hayes. We're not. Yeah, we're not savages. Here. Yeah. Exactly. We're not we're monsters. Animals. <laughs> We have an automotive podcast. There's one outlet for us. What's the what's the the story of the podcast? What's the deal? What's the well, the ethos, if you will? I think we're probably going to really be stepping out of our comfort zone. Would you say, Kyle? <laughs> By yeah. talking about cars? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're sitting in front of microphones, talking um, about cars, getting guests right. on each week. It's something we've never done yeah. before. Never done it. We've never talked about cars with me before. Not no. at once. Fuck. But uh, not for lack of trying. But uh, no, this time we're we're out of the museum, so we can no longer leverage the Petersons, uh, you know, reputation. <laughs> That's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, it's kind of a downer, actually. It gets, that's you get a you get a medium amount of reach for the for the Peterson. Yeah, it's a good yeah. business card to have. Yeah, yeah. we did all right. Yeah, yeah. but people, you, but once you got the Rolodex going, you okay? That's right. Oh, fingers guys, crossed. We, enough people didn't hate us, presumably. So look, your email history is still there. Yeah, you can yeah. still type those oh, names sure. in and get yeah, look exactly right. That's <laughs> what so true. We've been there before. Just leave yeah, a little I fuzzy, know you know. Uh, I don't but know yeah, this goes. Yeah, so okay, good. My tweet worked anyway. I can turn my phone off now. Thank God. Thank God. No, you don't want to be on your fucking phone. You want put that shit away again not monsters real world it's not savages that's right like on a coaster here boom not Whoa. savages Whoa. let me Look, i'm sorry i've just been that's, that's pretty classic no, you guys right are now. podcast it's not for the it's We've not for the ring shamed it's for the noise reminds me uh, of my favorite. you guys are professional broadcasters as well Obviously. so i'm not concerned with you yeah i'm not going to jiggle the mic stand around <laughs> The touch, the the grabbing of the mic and grounding it out is always a good That's one. A good, I was well, like I when mean, they tap on the it table. Squeal! It's like <laughs> three, these are a little you know, squeaky. Three oh, yeah. pigs, you're killing it. It's just like, <laughs> and Matt's oh. like, what are you doing? Oh. Oh, it's good to have Zach back as well. Yeah, it's been gone for like a month. Where, have, like. you, how, where have you been? Shooting a web commercial for BMW i3 for oh. like two weeks. Really? Yeah. Is it fun? Um, I got sick for half of it, so That's that like good. five a.m. wake up, you're like, uh, you just go over. The Losing your voice on a walkie is really funny. Not a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Useless. that's, that's yeah. not ideal. I was pretty useless. Um, I, I never driven the i3 though. I is really, there a new i3 or is no? The, these are like well, there's the sport old, but that came out. The sport was Oof. pretty cool. I mean, i3s are pretty sweet. spacey. They're pretty. They're cool. playing it pretty fast and loose with that sport name though. Let's be yes. dude. Considering <laughs> the tires, carbon tub. They right? are carbon tub. So little. Considering how little that tires. I did a one take with one and I was shocked. I did it on like. Decker or Excellent. one of those roads and the most memorable thing about it was the the, the quick steering mm -hmm. and good good grip at the front for a fucking bicycle tire and then the guy I don't remember where he drove from but he had to stop and and Juice charge up. on the way there yep. and on the way home Definitely. oh man it's unfortunate it was a commitment <laughs> it really yeah. was it's a fun yeah. car though rear wheel drive it is they need a drive. BMW they need an engineer to hack one and like do a drift a commercial drift with it. I think that'd be awesome. That would be pretty. But right. uh, I like the interior a lot, even though you mm -hmm. know the screens are kind of dated. Like the material selection is really cool. It's yeah, they're like weird room. recycled plastic bottles. Recycled like plastic. Like there's, hemp. A hemp. Yeah. there's a hemp yeah. one Whoa. and a, bam Wood. a bamboo yeah. dash. Yeah. Yeah. I, the one I drove <laughs> was hemp cool. and bamboo, and I was like, right? Yeah, this cool. is nice. Lovely. Yeah, it cool. was yeah. great. Nice. It Not was actually of all, believe it or not, the range that kept me out of one of those things. I almost looked to get one when there was a delay in the focus. I started looking at other shit. And uh, first off, the range extender one's like fifty three thousand dollars. That's a lot of quiche. Yeah. That's a lot for, for, for what quiche. is ostensibly a toy, R right? I, or an appliance? Yeah. yeah, right. I mean, it's not. You're not going to take a road trip. You're not. It's, you it's, can't. Yeah, it's eliminated. I mean, well, the Volt. Can. I had a Volt. Very long. I loved the Volt. Trip. Like the first generation the Volt, is Volt the best. was great. The first, I, I had the first, and then my sister had the second, and mm -hmm. they were both awesome. Yeah, they're rad. Like it's, yeah. a, it's a great combination. You can road trip a Volt. Well, the BMW did the same thing that. Dodge did where it's like they give you free rentals if you're doing a road trip and they said the take rate is like <laughs> zero under a one percent yeah yeah so the I, I'm assuming a lot of the people that own these have a second car or an option sure. but also 
we take a lot of road trips in this job, but mm-hmm. people don't take a lot of road trips. Pe- there's people yeah, who fair. fly to Vegas, you know, all the time. Whereas well, to us, like a flying to Vegas is practically no. un- unfathomable. What's your guys' I, cutoff for r- driving versus flying? I will absolutely fly to Vegas, but only because that drive sucks. It, if, it, if it's on a Friday, you may not have a choice. That's it doesn't a matter when drive. it sucks every time. It sucks on a motorcycle. It sucks in a car. It, really it sucks, sucks on a motorcycle. So every single, but I, but I don't I'll think drive the Vegas wherever. drive is that bad. I don't either, because because I have a flexible schedule and I yeah, can do it can make at it work. the optimized yeah. time. Yeah, mm-hmm. that drive at night is it's pretty great. goddamn great. I mean, let's say we all stick to the speed limit, so we Mom, can do it. What's your time? What's your time? Uh, <laughs> what's your I, best time? I don't push that hard, but I'm sticking 55 all the way, mm-hmm. maybe just shy of five hours. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty strong. Yeah, that's I mean, pretty that's, strong. Like I said, it's just stick 55 all the way. <laughs> Hayes Hayes claimed some insane time ballistic that I almost didn't believe. He said he did. Did he say it was under four? That he did an under. He said he did an under four once. Mm -hmm. Jesus Murphy. Which in his Corvette, like leaving SEMA at like two o'clock in the morning. The now Hayes is sober, be... mind you. This is he didn't, yeah, leave, the, yeah. he didn't leave the club and do this. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but but we, still, we found that out the hard way when we were yeah. on we were on Hooniverse like a bunch of months ago, and I was like, oh wait, I know Jeff likes beers. I'll bring beers. And then I was like, Chris, you, would you would you like some? Oh, of this? he's fine. No, yeah, yeah, no, he was totally cool like about that. it. But then I was like, uh, uh wait, what? No, he's not like found Jesus sober. He's just no. like he un- he knows him. He's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he knows him. That's what he would say. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> no thanks. That 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 level of rage is really best. Tamed. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's still processing Stella that he drank four years ago. Yeah, yeah. You know, just reti- but, retaining yeah, he, it a little bit. He exactly. claimed an there under three once. That's brutal. I under did, three? He no under under four. Under four. I feel like we've done it under four. We I've done it under four. He his number was under three then because we were like it's like an average of yeah. I you know, I did an three. under four to Pahrump once, which is actually easier than Vegas because you turn off the highway at Baker. Okay, and mm-hmm. you take. You know, Nevada roads, any, right. a Nevada, for those who don't know, <laughs> Nevada road that isn't a highway yeah. is, there's no speed. Well, that, that, yeah. road, well yeah. just, that highway north out of Baker, like a Prince Death Valley, yeah, yeah. That's is it. empty. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's a great, and it's a lovely road. It's, yeah. a, it's great. Smooth, it's, yep. it's open. Good tarmac, good can, visibility, 50, long. Easy yeah. 55 the long whole time. <laughs> and if you happen to have a Raptor, there are some really, the Dumont Dunes are right there. Oh, yeah. yeah they're sure. really okay. nice. Yeah. I actually just yeah. my, did my first drive to Death Valley um, a couple of weeks ago. I'd never been. Oh, really? Yeah. And we've got a long term car. Death Valley proper. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, we got a long term car for work. And like, you don't have to pay for gas. <laughs> Done. <laughs> What'd you drive? Uh, Kia Stinger GT. Oh. Someone just asked about that, actually. Yeah. How and was it? it is, it's amazing. It's really good. Yeah. At first, amazing? At first, here's the, okay, here's the thing. Like, first couple of times you drive it, it's okay. Like, it's really, it's nice for a Kia. It's like, you know, it's a good size. It accelerates well. Everything's good. But living with it for a while, it just makes a ton of sense. Like, it's super comfortable. It has everything. Like, it's way quicker than it should be, given, like, we've got the all-wheel drive one, because I think it's going to end up in Detroit for a couple what, months. wonder where that picture was taken right there. <laughs> there it's you like, go. That's, oh, that's like, that's, it's Angela's Crest. It's like the everyone picture. Yeah. No, that yeah. actually might be, Is one that of what, I think that might be our photo. Oh, from, wow. It might be from Roadshow. I'll tell you what, your SEO was excellent, because that was right at the top. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. pretty hard. There's so some pretty good, good ones of me having it cranked over right on that corner, too. Yeah. yeah, it's a great photo corner. But it's a, if you took that grill off that car, and you put the Audi grill on it, you could make that a Jaguar, you mm-hmm. can make it an Audi, you can make that almost any it's car. It's a Korean Panamera. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. I like, but, I like yeah, that. Okay. But that thing fully loaded, like it has every single option. It's fifty two grand. Yeah, yeah. Which is wow. Effectively nothing it's for BMW that. BMW i three money. It's BMW i three money, <laughs> That's, and with yeah. more range, <laughs> just ever so slightly. But yeah, and I mean, it doesn't great. have a carbon tub though. And it, yeah, it ripped through Death yeah. Valley. It was. I'm sure. Good. Bra- Brakes Long got real user. hot. Death Valley is is quite good though, isn't it? Yeah. It's very fun. It's very pretty. The bees at the top, though. No, there's a lot of. Well, that was a lot of bees. We, so was, the, the day we went, it was raining. Really? Yeah, we went. Uh, it's like, got to be once a year. Beginning twice of a year March, maybe. so we went, and yeah, it was, it was raining. I mean, it looked really cool, though. It was great. Very Martian. Where are we? Is, yeah. You know, our ghouls going to come out of the darkness? I was hoping. And was it not hot? It was like eighty something. Oh, that's not hot for death. No, no. <laughs> we went and it was like one twelve, and yeah. they were like, last week it was one twenty six. Well, fully, it's still hot now. Well, there's there's fully like a resort for, so in the there. middle. There's like the resort in the middle of Death Valley, and I'm like, resort. Yeah, we stopped there for dinner. What? Resort's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, but like, what masochist comes here for for recreation, bro? There are desert folk 
that are all about that shit. Yeah. Okay. All about it. I did hmm. a I did a summer of like desert landscape photography in St. George, Utah, or outside of St. George, Utah, which is as far as Utah goes, it's a pretty lovely place. Sure. I'll take shit white people do for four hundred dollars. Shit white people do. A hundred percent. Yeah. But uh but it's it was so fucking hot there. I was like, what what are any of you doing out here? Like you can get in your car and go somewhere that doesn't feel like you're cooking and they they love that shit. Well, they love the, we, we stopped the, there for dinner the and it was a lot, we heard a lot of accents yeah. on the shoot. There was like a lot of people from Europe that were no, like, I heard a, this is crazy. Yeah, we yeah. have to see this thing. No, I heard, I heard apparently, the my resort. father-in-law yeah. told yes. me this, but he's unreliable narrator, that the uh, the park rangers that work Death Valley, ha, was like speaking German is one of the requirements to get a job there because there are so many German tourists. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's huh. Brecken Sie Deutsch. Well, we met yeah. while we were out in the, you know, doing our like National Parks episode of Drive. We met like a French uh, motorcycle tourist gang. They'd done like a, they got like booked right. a big like Eagle Rider tour for like the French Harley Club. That's amazing. And uh, they, you spotted it, them with their baguettes. Is that what no, it was? Alex Roy was talking to them. Uh, they were like, they of course were he was. They were so excited to meet <laughs> Alex Roy. Were they Roy. comparing scarves? Like, well, Alex speaks French too. Oh, well, so naturally. he, you know, here's this guy with a scarf. I think he was wearing a linen suit for this bit. Oh, Alex was, yeah. Alex was wearing a linen suit. Naturally. I yeah. mean, he was the most French-looking As guy around. Like, he wears that suit, suit a lot, but the people that rode up on bikes had, like, the leather and all the stuff. I mean, they were decked out and yeah. having a great time. It was, you know, 100 degrees, and then we saw fighter jets. Yeah. Uh, same spot. Fighter jets in Death Valley, That's pretty excellent cool. as well. Rad. Yeah. A lot of that. That yeah. fucking Jedi transition thing, we were like, pfft. There's, there's not going to be planes. This is so dumb. There's not going to be. And then there was like a bunch of planes. <laughs> so many planes came through. Like at least three or four planes yeah. came through. We're like, shit, this is awesome. That's they fly amazing. through the canyon to practice like low altitude maneuvers. Yeah, and like your top b- gun shit. Deck. Yeah, I've watched the YouTubes. Oh, man. That's crazy. Boss. Yeah. They got Lou Gossett Jr. screaming over the. Dun, uh, dun, 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 so danger zone status. Yeah. Oh, oh, awesome. You just sit in your car, face the canyon, blast danger zone on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually they show up. It's like everything. summoning Beetlejuice on the third round of Danger Zone. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> or as I learned, you can just go to San Diego and sit on the beach and an Osprey will fly by and then F-16s because there's all the military oh, bases yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And you can just like sit with your feet in the water and be like, man, yeah, it's pretty good too. That does sound nice. It's better than, than uh, Death Valley. So the I-3 is good then? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's a it comprehensive is review of the I-3. Exactly. <laughs> That's the, to sum up. Yeah. Welcome home, Zachary. Um, the range thing, uh, they have like, the, we were using EVgo fast chargers. Pretty mm-hmm. impressive. What's like, an EVgo fast charger? I mean, EVgo is the company, but now they have, basically it's a charging thing that uses two plugs at once and it can go from zero to 80% in 20 minutes. Oh, huh. really? like That's, do you actually plug the car you, in like you, at the front and the back? No, no, you just plug, it's like every car now has two ports cause they're like, well, what if you're at this charger, if you're at home, you have two different ones. So this just puts those two together. But time-wise, it's really, I mean, it's a little bit longer than a gas stop, but if you plan it, like, hmm. you can stop, plug it in, go get coffee, come out, and it's done. Whoa. How so, long was it? Bad. Like so It's like 20 minutes to 80%. Oh, that's pretty good. On the, on, on the 90-mile battery. But the people, that, a lot of people were showing up with bolts. Those are real popular. But that has a 200-mile battery yeah. range, so they had to be there longer. Yeah. So. But that's two, but they get 200 miles. Yeah. They get 200 miles. Yeah. I like you know? the, I haven't driven a bolt yet, but have you guys driven a bolt? I've not driven no, a bolt, too. But it's cool. I like the weird taillights with it. It seems... Cool. Nice. I, if it, if it drives like yeah. a Volt drives on electric mode, it yeah. drives great. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. I'm kind of psyched the um, the Hyundai Kona EV is supposed to be coming soon, what? and that's Tim. Can you get me a picture of that? Can we? Can this we still Kona. do? We can do the pictures thing with yeah. live, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so Kona's live is the new good? crossover. Yeah. And um, Hyundai they just Kona. they debuted the EV in Geneva, but then they they told us in oh. New York that we're getting an, an electric version here. Oh God, um, this reminds me of like these these Citroen cactuses that uh, oh with the that, air that's right. with the with the rubber made. They sides. got rid of those. Yeah. They got rid of that, the air. Zach, is that a super thing? chat? That's our first super chat question. Our first super chat question. Oh, that's a good looking thing. What, what's airborne. the what's the story with this? Let's we'll get to his so this question. Is, yeah, this is like Hyundai's no new kidding. like crossover aimed at millennials. <laughs> yeah, see, I mean, looking I mean, at it, it's pretty. I mean, it, it it's a reasonable sure. looking crossover. I'm I was sure born in the silver 80s, and I feel black. Obligated to mm-hmm. buy it. In a, in a, pull it up in a different color that's not like nuclear. Yeah, yeah. that looks, I like the blue. That looks like every other crossover. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so anyway, they're doing it's a, a fully battery electric version of that, and it's okay. supposed to get like 250 ish oh, cool. miles of range. Yeah. And all right, like, I do mean, you guys do you guys care if your electric cars? Like, would you buy the electric version of a car that has a gas version also, or would you rather have like, like a ground Tesla up electric and like like Peacock a little bit? I'm gonna probably get crucified for saying this, but I would. You, you can, won't. They're not in the room. You're good. That's fine. Yeah, I don't work on the internet. Um, <laughs> Easter was two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah fine. be fine. 
Oh shit. Uh, but no, te- Teslas are like it's just that whole thing of using their customers as guinea pigs is oh, kind of beta a, testing thing. Yeah, that that really like chaps me. Well, there's a flip side to it. Sure. Okay. So yes, you're a beta tester, but you get like mad over the air updates to your vehicle. Whereas like if an update is needed. Like Ford will literally send me a, sim, a a zip drive in the mail. It's almost comical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, at the same time, like the it's, yeah the the Tesla thing. I don't know. And then the the Model Three, like it's a cool car, but like it's not that nice yet. Have you driven one yet? No, not yet. We like uh, we my boss has because you know he's, he's my boss. He's a bowler. Well, that's right. He's, the bowler. He's, he's a ginger in a bow tie. But um. I've but seen yeah. a lot of their panel gaps drive by on the highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. I'm yeah. always worried that someone might fall out. This There's big. Some, yeah, yeah. You know. Do you remember that commercial? Things like a Volkswagen commercial from like the late '90s, early 2000s, where they're like they're hyping up their panel gap super hard, and it's like the ball bearing test. And I remember that. I do remember the metal rolling. Ball bearing, yeah, rolling down Le- the was panel. Was that Volkswagen? I thought it was That's Volkswagen. I remember Lexus. I think it doing might be a ball bearing test as well with panel gaps. Yeah. Yeah. But like that's Either the thing way, I always think a gangster about. move. That's true. And then mm-hmm. I think if you did that with the, with a Model Three, you just have a bunch of ball bearings rattling around in your fender. I have well, like so, some of the trunks I've seen are like way too tight on one side and then yeah. too right. big on the other. You know, right. It's like a misalignment problem. Yeah. Which and I I like Tesla. I like what they're trying to do. Yeah, they're cool cars. It's just but, you know I don't know what, what's happening if they're under too much pressure and trying to get it out. And then if you have that yeah. kind of problem, you know. I think supply chain management and actual assembly of things is fucking hard. It's yeah. harder than writing software. It's harder than raising VC money. I, I think it's, it's harder hard. than building one rocket mm-hmm. and sending it to space. It's They're harder than volume. I think yeah. if you do a, one or two, easy. You can take mm-hmm. as much time as you want. But if you're doing tens of thousands yeah. and saying 35,000 in whatever three months, whatever, it gets a little tricky at Completely that point. Completely agree. Yeah. I, I feel like Caterham would probably like email Elon and they're like, choose panel <laughs> gaps or volume. Only what choose one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the Caterham triangle. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. Since we announced though that I was going to be spending part time in the Bay Area because of Hannah's new job though, I've had five offers to drive Model 3 in the Bay Area. Yeah. And they and that's of a total of six offers to drive cars at all. Yeah. <laughs> five wow. of the six offers have been for Model 3. Wow. And four of the five have been with Apple, ad- uh, like Apple.com, Facebook.com, Google.com email addresses. Of course. Uh, I saw our very first Super Chat question ever. Super Chat is a thing in which you can actually pay us and we'll answer questions live on the show. Do um, it too. The Fair idea being for like, I want to talk about the super chat for a second. Cause I don't like asking fans for money, mm-hmm. but the advertising situation is grim as fuck. And I want to create a lot of content and there's a lot of people that all the time are like, just do a Patreon or just do something. Yeah. So we're doing two podcasts a week. The goal is to have that Thursday show be live Q and A with Super Chat, which is a feature built into YouTube. And we believe that we can, great picture, Tim. We believe that we can eliminate advertising entirely from the podcasts, mm-hmm. and that's yep. the goal. If we can do this one little thing, answer your questions for a little bit of money on the air, and not have ads, and have the show still be good. That would be fucking sweet. And and for a lot of people, the reason we can't answer every question is because there would probably be dozens and then twenties and then hundreds Dude, of them. Do you see how fast they're so, the scrolling? Like it's scrolling really quick. Yeah, so, it scrolls really you know, quick. If you're wondering yeah. like why do I have to pay to ask a question, it's like well because to to find you out of a sea of a hundred or two hundred would probably just it's be impossible. It's a judge of impossible. your commitment, people. That's right. <laughs> uh, so to the, the 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 gentleman. Let's assume it's a gentleman. Thank you, sir. Statistically Our speaking, first that's... paying question ever wants a status of the Million Mile Lexus, right? Yep. Million Mile Lexus is currently in the ever capable hands of a Mr. Aaron Gold and his lovely wife, Robin. Um, they have long commutes to work and they are putting like 80 to 100 miles a day on the car. Whoa. That's um, good. And it's the, the engine still hasn't been opened. We've had to replace the alternator because the and, and rebuild the power steering pump again because the power steering pump leaks on the alternator and uh. kills the alternator. And that's now the third time that's had to do to happen. Weird. Wow. However, it's still going. We're at 973,000 miles and there's a couple that are like travel adventure vloggers from somewhere in Europe that are coming in June to go on a 10,000 mile road trip. Awesome. So I hope I get to drive it again before it hits a million. Like Frank, that's a very comfortable, awesome. Well, car. The, the plan for us for this car, the eventual plan is we're when it gets close, we're going to start driving it some more and do some adventures and make some films. But then, oh God, here come the super chats. Oh no! But then we're going <laughs> to ship it to Dubai. 
And your other question, who is that? Kit Lane? Is that what that says? I'm yeah, far from Kit, the monitor. Kit Lane. Yeah. Kit Lane's other question. Thank you, Kit Whoa. Lane. Five All cars sterling. go to heaven. Three is is the Lexus kidding a million miles, hopefully in the Middle East. You know, oh we go back mm. to the land of Jesus. Well, we bring it to its we, natural we resting place. We bring it to its natural <laughs> resting place. <laughs> to where the rest of them are. Oh, man. Um, and someone, Paul says, have a beer on me. Thanks, Paul. Um, oh, here's a good one. Actual car question. R32 GTR versus Porsche 996 Turbo for a weekend toy. Good question. Both around the $40,000 mark for a good example right now. GTR is on their way up. 996 Turbos pretty, leveled pretty to steady. creeping, steady. What do you guys think? You want to weigh in? Porsche. Porsche? You say Porsche. Have Just, you driven a Skyline? No, but I also know that it's really easy to get parts for a 996 turbo and yes. the Metzger motor is especially in that trim is so understressed like you'll just go forever mm -hmm. and ever and ever if you can live with the crappy interior go for it whereas okay. I'd, I'd go the other side and I go with the GTR because they're making GTR bits for them from the factory now from Nismo I'm gonna go with James I think mm -hmm. GTR because it is on its way up faster than the Porsche I also think it's a more unique and interesting driving experience for your money than the Porsche. And my but then you have to add, like deal with people at a gas station saying, "Oh, hey man, is that a Skyline?" That's true. You do. Yeah. That's a downside. That's a down definite downside. Yeah. Upside, you have to deal with a female going. Didn't they call these the worst Porsches because of the headlights and the yeah. IMS bearing? No, that would never happen. No. no, no. I all right. We're split. Zach. Two for oh. Skyline, one for 996. I, I think if uh, if we lived in a country like, like Kyle said that had easier access to Nissan parts, I'd probably go Skyline, but being that as an actual problem, as you found out with your air conditioning. Air conditioning with a Skyline um, and I was also, a problem. I, I do mm. love everything about the 996 other than the, tail light, uh, the headlights, so I would probably go 996 for all those reasons. Yeah, I mean, like, look at Larry Chin's car. Like, that thing is awesome. It is awesome. Larry was just on the show. Because mm -hmm. he's a beast and he's everywhere he's a, at once. he's a beast and, and he's, he's a, a gentleman. Phantom. He's everywhere but, and he's a gentleman. But you said your R32 drove great, like, out of the box. Absolutely and brilliantly And the 996, stopped. from what I've heard, a lot of people are like, oh, you got to do all these bushings. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of movement in the chassis because there's so many soft I think bushings. they drive weird. The turbos right, drive better than the Carreras, but I think 996s mm -hmm. drive weird. But that's okay. That's our way in. Moving on. Two. Are you Skyline? Two and two, I think. I 2019 Camaro. I'll, I'll Tim tiebreaks oh, and says Porsche. Break it. I, said, I, said, I said Porsche because we live in America. Wah, wah. 2019 Camaro. Tim, got to pull up a picture from the New York Auto Show of the 2019 oh, Camaro. No. Boys, have you seen this thing? Don't do it to me. Oh, I just ate. It's, it is not good. Uh, it's like the guys uh, at GM are just like, how much grill can these people stand? I don't know what's so happened, but wait, that's not it. That's not 19. Go down. It didn't debut at New York. I oh, where did it debut? It debuted like at like a weird. Oh, I'm sorry. Delete New York Auto Show. I apologize. Yeah, I think it, like it, the, the, the announcement just went out today. Oh, like okay. There, look at the the blue, the front of the car. Yeah, front. Of, yeah. Right. What What is the addition of all this grill? It's like yeah. so much grill. Makes well, it's, a little bit more grill. I think they could yeah. squeeze an extra couple of inches of grill in that. If they get rid of the LED <laughs> lights, they could probably get. Audi's looking grill. at this, going, "What do you have the bar in the middle for?" Yeah, yeah. Not, <laughs> not eight. And Lexus too. Yeah, it's I like it's like um. It's like the Toyota Avalon, the new one, got together with, uh, yeah, with the Lexus, with the Predator grill. Bro, have you seen all the new Toyotas? They're mad aggressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're all what really that video? Even, the, even the Camry. The Camry's the straight yeah. Like, yeah. You hear the straight-piped Camry? <laughs> no, it no. sounds awesome. Mother of Probably sounds like God. an Avora, right? It's nutty. It yeah, sounds so, so good. Probably sounds like an Avora with the titanium exhaust. Yeah, probably. New Camaro, dude, that front end, it's going to take some time, but right now, I am not feeling it. Yeah. I just don't. I don't know. We'll have to see. Is there a powertrain update? I don't. Uh, yeah. Well, they added a four-cylinder one LE model, so oh, two-liter so turbo handling with, the, with the handling and stuff. Okay. And then it gets with like line lock. I, <laughs> I think. Okay. Here's my question because we we know there's plenty of other companies that have front grills like this, right? Right. Like the Genesis has done it. Lexus was doing it with a little more fish kind of predator shit. Um, Audi, I think, started it with mm -hmm. the yeah. hexagon. Does it seem like they're late to the game on this trend? Like, yeah, totally. Are, is the next car, you know, the, whoever's leading the design language, are they going to move away from this and then they'll be late to the party? I hope so. I just, I'm, I I'm worried that it's it getting so less and less clean. It just keeps getting busier and messier. Right. You know? I agree. Well, and, but they don't, but they don't change like like the side profile. Like the door is the like, same. Still, yeah. they don't, you still can't see out of it. Like what's It's the so point? different and yet so much the same. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it'll be really good to drive but well, <laughs> probably, probably nice the yeah. ss was nice the ss was fa fast oh yeah it was yeah. the fun. chassis it was fast. fun and the zl11 le was like holy 
mother yeah. of God. You fast. know what's getting really cheap now? Hmm. Uh, or starting, I think they're hitting into like the sub 30s is the Z28. Bro, Bozy posted that shit. Yeah. You guys follow Bozy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hoonable on Twitter and the Bozy if, on Instagram. If you want the deepest Tesla cuts, he he's is your the, man. He is the most interesting person. Bozy and his brother Boyan are our AER race techs and they work on our NC Miata. And they are, Bozy is just the nerdiest of nerds when it comes to digging through auction results and importer logs. And he was like, hey, check, he sent me an unsolicited email the other day. I mean, which is fine, of course, but he's like, uh, dude, did you know that like all four of these exhaust companies are importing in one crate together from the same Taiwan manufacturer? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, that's awesome, Bozy. Whoa. Yeah, he finds all this crazy shit and these Z28s are in the fucking 20s. Which like is like 29 grand. That's nutty. A car. That's crazy. That's so much car. Right. And wow. in there, Harris and that's has gonna, one. Harris has one and that car is going to age nicely because mm -hmm. it's clean lines with mm -hmm. the splitter and everything yeah it just naturally it's aspirated. Aspirated. yeah sounds great yeah i just wonder how how different it would be not on the 60 tread wear like our compound tires like is it yeah. going to be that much worse to like try and live with no i bet you could daily uh, not maybe not daily it's tough it's a little but rougher, like yeah. i bet you could get away with some uh like a ps4s i think our compound um, tires are fine for everything our compound says the guy that has uh, our triple eight R's on his Fiat 500 E like a boss. Yeah, <laughs> that's stick that is, though. That's yeah, the best that low though. CG though. Does it, it have grip. flat flat floor battery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. well grips. <laughs> what else we got on that on that? Uh, on Questions. That? Oh, by the way, Tim's looking at like Auto Trader. Uh, Bozy's looking at the auctions. Uh, so that's what. Uh, yeah, yeah, but he's so he's got the end. But that's the true value. The Auto Trader is what people are asking, not what they're selling for. Yeah. Keep because can you scroll down? Is that uh, we missed all cars go to heaven? No, we didn't. That's what the Lexus is, is there... going to be. The end of the Lexus. Oh, that's part three. Yeah, I'm keeping yeah, yeah. track. Someone said uh, uh, Avora GT or used um, GT4. Uh, Avora 400 yeah. or used Cayman GT4. Ooh, have you guys driven the Avora 400 or 410? I haven't driven I haven't the Avora, driven an older Avora, and I didn't like the foot pedal placement. Interesting. Was it, was it offset? It's slightly yeah. offset. It didn't bother me that much, even though I agree with you that it is offset. I did not have an issue with it. Hmm. Um, that's a tough call because the Evora 400 is fucking badass. It's so nice. It's like a new old NSX. Okay. And it's simple without being basic. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sure. It has all all the basic needs are covered. It's not it's not too many frills, but it's got everything's right. Here's the problem with the Cayman GT4. New Cayman GT4 is coming out, and it's going to kick the values of those right down because it's going to get the GT3 motor. So wow. okay, yeah. If so I've, can, I've oh. only driven. I drove the Sharkworks GT4 very well, briefly. You did not have a Cayman GT4 experience. You had a Sharkworks experience. <laughs> well, no, it's before he did anything with the motor. So ba basically, all he did was they changed the gearing yeah. and put an exhaust in it. Okay, well and that's improved, but not. Yeah, yeah so yeah. That, I like. I don't know. Like, is the, is the Avora that good though? Yeah, it's great. It's great. I'll tell All you, right. I drove a, I drove a GT4 and an Evora 410 back to back. Okay. And if I had to do a track day in something, I would prefer the GT4. But uh, to drive one every day, I would prefer the Evora 400. It's easier sense. to get in and out of. Hmm. Uh, the GT4's bucket seats um, are quite deep, and you have to like do this weird ballet to get out of them. And um, sure. I really like the Avoris because it's Avora it's great. different. It looks good. Yeah, I mean those hinges. It's carbon. It's and it's and like a different answer because Porsche yeah. is very good at answering I went most to, questions. Someone mm -hmm. took me around the track in the Thermal Club and one. It was a lot of fun. Ex uh, Le Mans yeah. driver. Yeah, it was good. Much okay. better than the the Cayman they had there. The uh oh in, wait a GT four or four hundred. In uh, Evora. I think they were both. They weren't the GT4, and it wasn't the They were the, the regular, yeah. One. But the, still, it was. It's I, it's similar, but there was a big jump. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of changes. to The 400, they're dope. If you can get a good deal on a 400, it's definitely worth looking at. Um, uh, what else we got? We are learning that we are learning when people uh, abuse this system because someone said or paid money to say, uh, ask Zach what a butt is for. Zach, what's a butt for? I don't know. We don't have shame. But it's like, well, what's a dick for? It's going to be the same thing. <laughs> Are you? Is that the obligation? Are you required? Or is it just sort of a social contract unwritten? We're going to learn this as we go, I think. <laughs> Can yeah. you get sued? I mean, I don't know. Um, all right. Someone asked for a law school car recommendation. Under 30 grand. Law school car. 300 horsepower driver's car. Oh, that's, that's super easy. E55 AMG. Uh, W210. <laughs> yeah. W210. So not oh, the supercharged one. The basic one? The, the five one. and a half liter? The five and a half liter, no supercharger, no air ride. It's under 10 grand, 350 you, horsepower. Under, thir under 30 grand? Well, 30 then grand. he has 20 grand to spend on repairs right. because he's already in law school and he's already got a lot yeah. of debt. Or he, has, or he has like 10 grand to spend on um, 
all these super duper overpriced like cams and headers and stuff from like what? Tech. From uh, in law school yeah man <laughs> it's gonna be great are you just are you assuming that he wants to join the Mercedes family as where most lawyers <laughs> is he go? gonna be a mob yeah, lawyer you when he's on the done? ground what? floor <laughs> he, you know is he Russian and it's like, old what? enough that you don't look like you're trying to be new Noah. money you know dress advice. for the job you want um, right. um, wait so give me the requirements oh, wait, again. Never, 300, horsepower. Miata, 300 horsepower Miata, or more or more driver's car driver's car law school I feel like doesn't really matter doesn't matter he's, he's, he's in his late 20s right? he's got right? talk about the Z28 for 29 grand Z28 yeah, definitely yeah. That's gonna really, what kind of lawyer do you want to be a fucking ZL1 yeah. a ZL1's gotta oh, yeah. be cheaper than a Z28 right yeah. a ZL1's gonna be 25 grand that's what's up what? or like a used Audi S5 with a stick and a V8 could be well, nice you can get a used M3 of a course a used M3 could be good if you oh, can yeah. afford some payments a Lexus IS 350 slightly used but current body style is pretty cool mm -hmm. Reliable uh, too, so reliable. Don't worry about that. that's because that's something you could probably drive for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Until you can afford a Mercedes. Well, you Lexus's know, just, last an eternity. You just I, get in the ecosystem, then you, you work your way up. You climb the ladder. Yeah. Um, now, if you're in medical school, this changes everything. You know, our answer <laughs> oh, yeah. would be completely different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, you're looking at like entry level sports sedans and stuff like that. Alex Bernstein was up in here talking about that BMW 135 with mods. Mm -hmm. He's got like a 500 horsepower 135 that he built for. Not uh, a lot not of money. This thing's it's under real 3,000 pounds. Yeah. yeah. And it looked very, very fast. Yeah. And he's almost cracking twos at Button Willow. Yeah. It's very, That's very for, close. For like hmm. not a lot of money at all. It was a 135 is a ton of car that is overlooked in the used market. I wonder how much it would cost to replicate the Dynan, um, the Dynan, what, 135 that they did? Uh, the the Dynan kit has a, oh, the 1M. The Dynan 1M. From a 135, I think it's doable, actually. Wow. I'm not sure those you internals the, are different or anything. No, it's, I don't think so. It's, it's a bigger turbo. It's yeah. a bigger turbo even from the 1M. Sure. It, and it's a different intercooler and I think but a I full think exhaust, but it's not anything too crazy. Because that would be cool. It would be very cool. Yeah, yeah. But there's a, I mean, you can do a lot with the N54 engine, you know, as it is. Yeah. Tons. 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 Yeah. So I hope those are some useful options. What else we got? Anything not too embarrassing? So what do we think about the Ford GM 10 speed? I've only used one in a Raptor. I haven't tried one in a sports car yet. I'll get back to you on that one though. I promise. It, seem, it seems like that's a ton of gears and if they program it perfect where it can skip gears where it needs to, but was it you that were driving in the desert? Sometimes you had to click down, you know, 10, 8, 9, 7, 6. Yeah, yeah. In a Raptor in manual mode, it's a lot of shifting. That seems like yeah, it could be yeah. seems It's a lot of shifting, but... If this is what's going to save the ga the the petrol engine, the you know sure. whatever, why not? All right, yeah. Uh, so f top five cars to turn safari style. Safari style. I like this guy. Oh, Off-road sports cars are so hot right now. <laughs> so hot right now. Other than a 911, what would you off-road sports car? Uh, well, they used to have my favorite one at the Peterson Museum, the Buick, the, the Buick. AMG. Yeah, it was only eight hundred and thirty thousand. Wait, the custom what? one? The fuck are you talking about? What Buick? They had a Buick downstairs in the vault. There oh, was, right. There it's, was, it's like it's like a mid-50s Buick that, that somebody took the body. The body, basically, they took an, a G55 AMG and then just dropped a 50s Buick body on it. On a G-Wagon? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. It was only a drop in the pool at $830,000 <laughs> to put into the car to make it work. Yeah, and they painted wow. it three shades of beige, so you no, know it's ready to go. What? Perfect. I mean, that's what you want to go off-roading in. Can you, Tim, look up like classic Buick G Wagon mashup or something like that? I, I got to see a picture. Is it, was it cool? Yeah. Yeah. Was it worth $830,000? No. Uh, I absolutely mean, I, not. Would, I don't have the 830000 so I'd say it possibly could be worth more. Was it like one of those hunting vehicles or did it have a purpose? No, it looked like it looked, it didn't look at all like it was going to go off road. The, the only way you could really tell was that it's got, it's got the AMG monoblocks on it. Huh. But it was like fully on air ride suspension, still four wheel drive. Really? So what was the point? Just shits and giggles? Well, the guy had two cars. He's like, I've crashed my Mercedes G-Wagon. Wow. My dad gave me this Buick. We can't Let's seem to find it on together. the internet. Is there a keyword we might search to find I don't know. it? It just lives in the deep, dark heart of the I Peterson think vault. I think it's one of the, it might be Troy Ladd or the Hotwoods, uh, oh, yeah. Troy Ladd ones. Okay. So G-Wagon on a Buick. Okay, great. Uh, Kyle, what would you safari? Oh, that's a good question. Um, what that, that, the, the, oh yeah, okay. The, uh, uh Mercedes 450 SEL 69. SEL. Yep. Yeah, just jack one of those up with a roof rack and, and lights. Sedan, like a like the red saw. Yeah. Sow, sow, sow. Red sow. The rota sow. Rota sow, thank you. Yeah, red pig. Well, yeah, the yeah. red pig, but lifted. That's, well, so that's that's actually um the 10, uh, 109. So that's the earlier one, the 6.3, and then, then AMG did it, not to be a giant nerd. Um, the one later. The one, the one right that. after that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. 
badass. I'm about that life. Yeah, it's already got air suspension. You're golden. Yeah, throw a skid plate yeah. on it. So yeah. yeah, Mercedes for sure. Zachary, mm-hmm. how much uh, how much work can we do on this? Can we talk like yeah, engine swaps unlimited. and stuff? Yeah, unlimited, Anything. Unlimited. This is a hypothetical. Budget. Yeah. Um, I mean, I spent eight hundred thirty thousand on mine, so you've got that to work with. Say, put that as a ballpark figure. <laughs> yeah. That is a very that's a fair point. Uh, I think it'd be fun to go full micro machines and have like a, like a first gen Camaro that's rallied out and just right. f- especially to you know flip like everything that. on its head. I like that. There was an IROC Camaro in uh, Rally North America when Morningstar was doing that mm-hmm. rally. Was our, our cameraman was a co driver in a rally, mm-hmm. and there was a fucking IROC. Full American flag wrap, Whoa. chrome American racing wheels, lifted monster truck tires, running stage rally. Yes. It was the most badass shit What ever. a hero. Second answer that I like better now that I've had th- thought about it. That's in 510 wagon. Mm. Mm. Good choice. With some sort of engine swap. That's a good choice. I'm thinking, I mean, it's been done. I'm tempted to say, you know, Mercedes uh, SLC. Mm-hmm. Uh, rally car, oh, God, obviously, that's so cool, so sexy, so cool, that, so that, amazing. That one you did a one take on where it was a rally, one. but that was such really a cool, nice car. Yeah, great. Yeah, that, I wonder if that dude stuff. sold that thing. I uh, but yeah, that or I mean, you know, Rolls Corniche Coupe. Yeah, why okay. not? you know, like from Cannonball Run uh, mm-hmm. Two with the Sheik. Yeah, yep. I'm all about that life. Yeah. And there, uh, Tim, can you look up the Rolls Corniche rally car? Uh, because one did exist, built by Rolls Royce. And it was the coolest fucking thing ever. And there it is. Oh, that's a drawing. It's of a wraith. Good drawing, <laughs> whoever good. whoever did that. Did you like see that? The, uh, Look at that. Now that is go. Oh, and it's got the Jules hot. livery too? Yeah, Jules livery, oh my God. lifted, chin splitter, yellow fog lights. That's what you Sexy need. as hell. Yes, please. Two-door hardtop corniche. There's a dude who lives in Venice. Have you mm-hmm. seen this guy rolling around? No. There's a dude who lives in Venice who's got a black, like, not rattle can, but like, um, like uh, triple deuce hot rod black, okay. that kind of black, yeah, like yeah. flat black, but not matte black. You know what I mean? Sure. Of these, of a hard top Rolls Corniche. Whoa. Awesome. All right. Street parks it. Guy's gangster as fuck. Did you see there a couple of weeks ago, I think it was Jalopnik or something. There was uh, somebody did like a rally treatment for, it was a Bentley Continental GT, but like, it was really good. Well, there's the guy who does this, the the renderings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a real like car. Co- like oh, it was really? for sale, like in the Netherlands. I th- oh yeah, yeah. Like no, I would pull do that rally car Bentley GT, Tim. There, yeah. it was a real uh, a guy built one. Like I do unforgivable. Yeah, stuff there it is. Stop left for like a month. Oh, there's of that a car. jumping in the middle there. What? Fuck. Oh, yeah, oh that's they did another one too. There's a second one, a black one. Bro, yo, that guy that's beats hilarious. all of us. When you're on a yeah. good thing, there you go. That's a lifted Bentley with over fenders and a bash bar. <laughs> Those look like Silverado <laughs> fenders too, which I appreciate. <laughs> oh, you know, I wonder how much of the drive like it really does fit the style lines there that's with those great. fenders. And <laughs> can you zoom in on the shocks, Tim? Is that does that actually have like Ooh. double, doubled up shocks? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it has doubled up front shocks. Wow. Yes, sir. And those look like foxes almost. And then it has an exoskeleton around the whole back of the car. Mm-hmm. Bitchin. Yeah. Yeah. That's so awesome. Oh, sold, sold for what? What did I say? Sells for sells? It's I sitting a sells. lot lower than I expected. Sells for 89K? 69,000. Fucking worth it. That's a 100% prop- worth yeah. it. I, I would buy do 15 it. of them for that Buick. Come out to rethink. Bro, oh, yeah. Exactly. Roll up to Mastro's Ocean Club in that motherfucker right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> assuming assuming it still works. Just, like, just uncorked Bentley. and bouncing off the rev limiter. Oh, like, look at it with the lights. There's it with the lights on. Yeah. Couldn't you just pull up oh, the, on the sand yes. and the rocks instead That's rather than out front? I was just right. thinking that. Oh, just do a beach landing? Yeah. Dun, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Some Wagner. <laughs> that is so amazing. Yeah. I would go, you know what I would do if I had that? I would call Doug DeMuro, and we would go, you know, he's super Nantucket. Mm-hmm. You guys know you guys know Doug. Yeah. Per, you know him or you just I've, know I've never met no, him. Oh, okay. He is the essence of using the word summer as a verb in Nantucket. <laughs> and I love that about him because I used to use the word summer as a verb in Nantucket. And it's a big thing in Nantucket to drive your cars on the beach. Sure. It's like a pastime there. And people who keep their fucking defenders out there for like 20 years, their whole bumper is covered with like every year's mm-hmm. permit. Does the bumper not fall off from rust though? <laughs> They keep that shit in their nice garage really? in the winter. They're Coast not there car. in the winter. No, that's garaged all winter. But I would go mob Nantucket in that. Really offend some Just throw a rooster tail pants. at some, some guy. And for like, sure. Yeah. For sure. In the embroidered shorts, just... Salmon. It's all salmon. Oh, it's going to be salmon. There's a store that sells all salmon pants. There's all a salmon pants <laughs> fucking store. It's amazing. It. I think I put it on my Instagram for There's my so trip. many different that's shades of salmon. <laughs> there are. 
Way more than you think. Yeah. From yeah. farm raised to line caught exactly. to Alaskan right. king. <laughs> no, Tim, you'd have to scroll for like hours to get there. <laughs> it's from last summer. Oh man, what else? Should we like? I don't. Okay, so we've been pod. We've been live for like an hour. Are the the super chats aren't like out of hand piling up, are they? Are they getting there? No, but it's a little. Uh, All right, let's let's be a little. Let's try and answer some questions, and then maybe we'll just kill the super chat so we don't get. Holy shit! Did someone just give us twenty seven dollars? Pounds even. Twenty eight. Pounds. Twenty eight pounds. That's like, well, that's like Fuck. Twenty eight euros. It's like three hundred dollars. Sing your question, motherfucker. I got Sing no it. shame. Sing it. Thanks for all the free content, guys. Matt, would you consider another mini GP, or have you any alternative? Or another twenty seven pounds to not sing. Twenty seven pounds to not sing. I pay the people. People at uh, the ice cream place to not sing when you tip them. I agree. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I feel That's bad for them. I'm like, just mini don't. GPs. They, you got to be a super mini nerd. Have you guys had a mini GP? No, no. It's the it's the best mini, but it's really expensive. Sure, they're really expensive, hmm. and like. Zach, maybe you could back me up on this. The modified Fiesta ST was actually, I think, faster and more fun to drive. Yeah, I think it. Uh, the Fiesta felt like it had slightly more, maybe a little bit more lean. Yes. And maybe slightly softer as far as just steering and response goes. But it okay. rode but better. It does ride better. It rode better. And it yeah. was twenty thousand dollars cheaper. Yeah. You know, I mean, the, the I mini, the we mini took GP the, was forty five thousand or fifty thousand dollars. That's nuts. When we did Solar State in was so forty it's plus grand. BMW i three money. It's fat. <laughs> <laughs> It's really, f how fast did we go? 160 in it? Yeah. We did 160 in it, so there's on that. On a closed road, obviously. Nope. It, was, it was we closed all, road. Oh yeah, we did do it on a closed road, but we also did it on an open road. No. But also on a closed road. No, we didn't. We That's did. the whole point maybe of the video. The, maybe the open road was in Mexico. No, we did it in a closed road, but Zach was eating a sandwich and we played Go Fish. Yeah, I don't, and then we got thrown out of the closed road event <laughs> because we went too fast in the closed road. Oh uh, yeah. The Silver State Classic, is, do you know what that is? It's, yeah. yeah. So we got thrown out because we broke out of our bracket by going too fast. We yeah. made, we made oh, dude, savages. it's like a, it's like a time trial event and we made three passes in a mini. You're not supposed to make any passes. We passed the court. There, this is on video if people haven't seen it, but you should go watch. It's on Drive. It's uh, the mini Cooper review. It's called Speed the Desert and Crushed Dreams, yeah. I believe is the title of the video. So we, we knew that this event would be dull because our speed limit for our bracket was like 110 miles an hour. And I was uh, like, well, what am I going to do? Yeah, what's the point of that? So I yeah. brought sandwich ingredients and made sandwiches. Of course. We, we played cards. I did his nails. And then I made a balloon animal and we passed a Corvette <laughs> and I just held up a balloon animal dog. And the guy drove the Corvette's just like, what? And we're just, no. Dude, mobbing in this stock mini press car. Oh, God. It was so it was great. It was good fun. It was good fun. It sounds like a great time. Video. It was a great time. A great video. I wouldn't buy one. If you are like, you got to be the most diehard mini guy around. Like, yeah. And uh, I think a mini is a, a lease it for 24 months kind of car. Yeah. And they, you know, they have reliability. Because they are great. They I think for, by what they do, they're very good at it. Yeah. I like them. Yeah. Oh man! Oh, that's a good one. What's the closest you can get to a hundred thousand dollar driving experience for under thirty five thousand? A motorcycle, a Ducati, any motorcycle. Yeah, a Ducati. Yeah. Fucking my motorcycle. Panigale, is, my <laughs> motorcycle is slow. I, it, it's it's like a ninety horsepower adventure bike. Yeah, and you have to have a real fast car to like yeah, le yeah. leave me at the line. Like yeah. I, and I'm a slow motorcycle rider. Yeah. There's no, there's nothing that compares. It's I completely insane. agree with you. I completely agree with you. Yeah. Uh, but I think this part of the person probably wants a car recommendation. $100,000 driving experience for under $35,000. Now, this is possible because you can buy plenty of um, Aston Martins again. Aston that. Martins. Right oh, V8 right. Vantage is right. Maybe not under 35, but close. It's close. Well, it's are close they talking about the driving experience or just like what is closest you can get to a driving experience? I would also like, say, like, like a, from a performance standpoint or like just a nice car to be in. Pick an angle. You pick an angle. Throw well, some at the wall. See what sticks. Performance. I was like C5 Z06. <laughs> Okay, yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, yeah. That's, that's a lot of car for not a lot of money. Yes, but the person says $100,000 driving experience, and that was never one of those. As okay, a former C5 owner, I assure you, oh, yeah, you got that is okay, not a... But if you were blindfolded, would you be able to tell the difference between the C5 Z06 and a V8 Vantage when those came out? Yes, because I could touch yeah. things. Do, well, okay. I can feel it in my hands. driving hand. experience. I think so. The V8 Vantage is not as fast, but it definitely feels more exotic. It does. It definitely, Sounds more exotic. It feels, yeah. 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 And I think it's more luxurious on the inside. I agree. Absolutely true. Yeah, yeah. I there, agree. There are Wait, a lot of things more, more than luxurious. More than a Corvette? It's just a, a little bit. Wow. Just a little bit. You must live in Buckingham House. Yeah. 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 They're, re they're reasonably That's reliable, by, and they're not particularly expensive to insure as per DeMuro and Freddie. Uh, I would say that's fun. probably a good one, yeah. yeah. Or fuck, you can get. I mean, under thirty-five. No, you're not getting. No, nah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna back away from that argument. 
CL six hundred Mercedes. I was gonna say, oh, big body, oh, big body Benzes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a CL six or a CL fifty five or a CL sixty three or one of those in good condition. The one, the one you did a one take on that was like the the guy that detailed it was mint. Oh, the the red SL. That was no, no, the black. It was uh, it was like a silver color, but the the guy fully, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 that was real nice. Very. That was definitely a hundred thousand dollar driving experience. Yeah, Yeah, old big body Benzes for sure. For sure. Uh, scroll down, Tim. What else we got? Is that the end? That's the end of oh, that. Oh, is it? We missed a couple. Oh, but. go back up. What, what's the other? What's the most miles we personally put in a car, and how do you think that affects your uh, opinion I like on new car, i.e., the cost of dailying a Porsche? Uh, guys, have you ever had any extraordinary numbers of miles put on a car? Uh, Seventeen hundred miles on a press car in a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've, I have such bad car ADD that I I can't keep something like long enough. I think. I put like 25,000 miles on my Fiesta ST and then it was like, no, I got to get rid of it. That's right. a lot. I think that's significant, especially yeah. considering our profession and our, like you said, our ADD. Yeah. Uh, a long time ago, I had like, I had one, you know, I had a, a, a Mercury Mountaineer, all wheel drive V8, 2000, right. 2001. It was a nice truck actually. I put 97,000 miles on it in three years. It was like my college car. Jesus. And I road tripped. Good work. I road tripped. I would drive all over the place and I had a system in it like, there, oh, there it is, black, second row down. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, nope. newer generation than that. Go up, 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 no, newer than that. Yep, yep, yep. Second row, second from the left, that. That. That's not black. Whatever. Not Sorry, black. it's wrong color. Mine was black. Yeah. I'm fucking ten <laughs> feet from the monitor. What do you want from me? Still not black. <laughs> He's red, green, color blind. I'm color blind. You shit ball. <laughs> I'm so colorblind. It's really bad. But that was it. But so we had. I had a Alpine flip out in the front. Uh-huh. Okay. And then I had uh, the first ever serious. No, it was the first ever XM unit, which was a separate unit that we had to cut a hole in the dash to put in there. XM tuner, and then we did headrests in the TVs for both rows. So it was five TVs in the truck. And then behind the third row, the whole trunk space was a box, a thousand watt with two MTX tents. <laughs> we did all Alpine speakers. And we would roll around, had DVD in the truck, and we would roll around thousand mile road trips and watch like a whole season of Sopranos on DVD. You just didn't want to pack anything though, did you, to put in the back? Good question. Good question, James. Roof box. Uh, I roof boxed it for the road trips, and I almost never had to carry, like, seven people was going to the club. Five people was a road trip, and then we could fold down the seats. Put some more, yeah. But it was a Mercury. I went through three gearboxes in 96,000 miles and traded it for a Audi S4. Wow. Um <clears throat> when I had the Crown Vic and drove it back and forth to shoot oh, big yeah. muscle. You put a lot of miles. Put like 20,000 miles on it in two years, but what it, what it taught me about was ergonomics of seating, which we all, like you get in a press car and you're like, oh, this is comfortable or this is, un- or it's supportive. Mm-hmm. But it's like, we have that car for a week. And this was two years and over two years, I developed like a bulging disc in my back and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't have enough support. So I realized like how much you lean over. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, like those seats you get in at first, you're like, oh, I've got room, Dude, it's soft, this, good. This little centimeter of difference is so much exactly. over mm-hmm. a period of hour. And your Crown Vic was fucking bad. That was a oh. bad one. I mean, it was a good car, but that seat was a fucked seat. Totally. Yeah. It was two rulers covered in like, you know, the mm-hmm. wool. That was it. To but finish. I think it's oh, sorry, important. I just to, think ergonomics are more important than people think. Oh, yeah, like, for sure. Absolute fit of seat. Well, that's <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, go ahead. No, 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 please. I would say that's, that's like one of the last that's last things that really differentiates cars anymore is like, because everything is so good. It's hard to find one that's like a total piece of crap unless they screwed up something with the ergonomics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's either yeah. that or complaining about infotainment, which just makes you sound like a chode. Because you can just <laughs> like plug your phone in. infotainment it, you know? is bad. But. No, totally. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I had like a Fiesta C. It was not good. Before it like, resets, and you get in there instead of two. It would be really true. good if it was two, and I'm going to yeah. back out all of the driveway before it finally kicks in. I get my podcast. I, I just drove a new CX-5, and, like, the screen was noticeably slow. Like, let's hit, Joke. let's go from nav uh, to radio, and it's like, there we are. Yeah, yeah. So compared to the other new stuff, but once you get going, you just listen to whatever you listen to, and your right. nav is fine. And you know right. who cares? And it's all stuff you would get used to, like like yes. an infotainment thing. Like but that 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 car though was worse in steering and brake field than the one I drove on a one take like three years ago. Oh, the, so the like, old one. Oh, yeah, like the bummer. actual driving oh, weird. was. I, I felt like it was significantly worse. But infotainment, mm. like you said, who you know, who cares? That's a bummer. Yeah. To finish the gentleman, assume it's a gentleman's question. In in terms of the the, I think the question was more also about like does reliability and long-term cost affect our ownership. And I think it may have at some point, but now 
because all of us travel and live in a place where you're not putting that many miles on cars. It doesn't. You you don't. I mean, you don't want to buy something that's like a ticking time bomb. But mm-hmm. well, yeah. some of us do. But I don't yeah. have a problem dailying an '87 <laughs> 911 and a 2001 Mercedes because I I just calculated up. I put 3,200 miles on my uh, SL500 in 2017. I put 2,900 miles on the 911, 2,400 miles on the Mustang, and uh, uh, 4,900 miles on the Focus in 2017. So I'm not putting that many miles anymore. Okay, so but if, but if you were a person who had one car that, yeah. let's say you did like a lot of road trips, would that then affect what you bought? Like, would you, you probably you, I mean, buy. you'd want it to be reliable right. and you'd want it to be reasonably fuel efficient if you're going a lot of miles, you know, and go th- consumables. You don't want something on our compounds that's going to go through tires. Like, like yes, I love you do. I, Yes, you do. Bro, Every car. how long do your triple eights last? Uh, it's a 500. It's still going. I mean, how many miles do I put in the Fiat 500? I put like 2,000 in a year. That's a good point. So, so that's like, like two years. Yeah. Yeah, good. I've probably gotten a thousand miles out of my cup twos and they're donezo. Yeah, that's different different (laughs) kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. That fucking British guy just sent us another eleven dollars for eleven euros. I think uh, it's euros. Is that British or pounds? Euros. Euros? I'm sorry. I'm so far away. Euros. Okay, eleven euros. Wow. And just said thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, David Gottfried. I think we missed this one. He's about to buy a, a Morgan three wheeler. Is he making a horrible mistake? <laughs> no. Yes and no. 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 Greatest idea ever. I only yeah. wish it was the electric one. Hopefully it is. I strongly recommend Ooh, buying yeah, a exactly. Morgan three wheeler, and I strongly recommend um, having something else to drive when it's broken. Yeah. <laughs> have a plan B. <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's so. Have you guys driven them before? No. You have, right? No. It's the I've greatest. I've only been in this passenger and vintage one. That's Fuck. about it. In, the, in an old one? An yeah. actual old one? Yeah, yeah. And how did that go? It was fun. I mean, look. How old? It, I think it was 64. Okay, so not like the 1920. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. But to be honest, it's probably very, very, very similar. <laughs> if yeah, you go, be have you been to the Morgan factory ever in Malvern? They have one of the ones from 1920. Oh, wow. It's extremely shady looking. Yeah. Extremely nice. shady. Yeah. Like, it looks like some, like, Wright Brothers shit. Like, but, it's really... <laughs> But that electric one though is incredible. It looks dude. cool. Yeah. Can you yeah. pull up Tim? Pull up the electric Morgan three wheeler. It's uh, t- Hannah's gonna hate me when she hears the word steampunk because it yeah. looks steampunk. <laughs> yeah. Do you have your, Do you have your, your your goggle and your top hat to go? Bro, with it? I got goggles. Fuck it, I'm getting off camera. Hold on. Talk about yourself. <laughs> Bro, do you think so? You rode in the the regular three wheeler or sorry, gas powered. Do you think that going electric would ruin that sound and experience? No. No, because I was a passenger, so now I'll be a driver, and mm-hmm. I'd just be just as terrified when I came up against that eighteen wheeler. We were definitely so. when, what is happening right Bro, now? I wear these <laughs> goggles for Mother Russia. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these goggles is for Morgan three wheeler, also for snowmobile. Oh, in winter and uh, murdering uh, Democrats. Bring, bring, out the, g- bring out the gimp. <laughs> it's all yeah, it's, <laughs> except they're tough to wear when it's hot because your eyeballs actually cook. It's like a reverse magnifying glass. <laughs> <Yeah. wow. laughs> you look like the shittiest superhero <laughs> <fucking> I've ever <laughs> seen. My dad bought these shits back from Russia like <laughs> five years ago. Like, I thought you would like these. And like, you know those articles right. about like, like local superheroes? You need to wear these more yeah. often. Man, I, I think is what your eye, try your eyes get really hot, though. No, I no, no, I'll, I'll let, I'll let uh, you don't my like my You don't like my Russian... Look at that, the... Electric yeah. Morgan three wheeler. The, the off center headlight is so cool. Thing is so good. Yeah, Whoa. I guess does it give it a little personality? It makes it look actually less cyclopsy. Yeah, that is. Uh, our wide camera is shaking because someone's bouncing the table. Oh, maybe we can. We'll, we'll solidify. That. It, ha- it happens often. Occasionally, it it's often. wobbly. We're gonna strike that at least. Cool looking. Also looks like uh, if one of the minions got its eye poked out. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like Chappie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or something. But it's. I don't know. It's cool though. That's well, like the design brief though. Like, can, can we get less tire in the front? Yeah. No, 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 no less tire. No, even less. Like, half of an I, half an I three. I like fuck, how that the body cool line over the top is yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, I like, the, like the, yeah. the, the, the the nacelle or the pod thing on the side behind the wheel too. Like mm-hmm. the whole thing. Is just I bet so you it's good. real quick up to six. I bet the zero to sixty is quick. It's like three and a half seconds. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the gas one is so. World War One, fucking Baron von Farah coming through, brah, 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 you know, yeah, and it's just so amazing, you know. You're fucking dead. You crash one. There's, there's no surviving a crash. But like, that's a Vanderhall Laguna. No, I am aware. Oh, that's nope. a whole other. Can that's of a worms. whole other thing that is. N- not a Morgan three wheeler, and yeah. uh, <laughs> it is not. Yeah. And uh, it's it's incredible. It's, but would you want to road trip one? No. Alex Roy asked me when he did that 
transatlantic transcontinental Morgan record. Go fuck yourself. Like, how <laughs> ha- how hammered <laughs> drunk was Zach Bowman when he said yes to that? I, well, Zach Bowman is I think he feels he's a, I think he's a bit of a masochist. He, for he, yeah, he really enjoys doing like things that he knows ahead of time are going to be fucking awful. Yeah. They're kind of cool and epic things though. Like no, you know, totally. Back, it's it's like you sign up for it when you know that you'll look back and go that was kind of rad, but. Dude, yeah. that car is so small. I mean, forgetting the, the the fifty hours or whatever it is of driving cross country. So for me, I don't know about for you guys, but I'm you know I'm tall and fat, and whatever. So there isn't really much of a dead pedal in one of those. So mm. it's like not not so good when you're trying to do many many hours, unless you're a little smaller than me. But yeah, but you know you're like this. Alex Roy's like this. Like yeah, fucking, you gotta like you have to like lean away from each other just to fit. It's fucking gnarly, but but then over time you come together and then oh, it's a, across it's Iowa Hegeman. romance. There's very it's little it's a beautiful you, thing. that person. If you think you will like it, if you've seen one being driven, if you go watch my video of it and you go, I want that experience. That's the experience you're gonna have, and it's also gonna break a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So have a second car. <laughs> Get the yeah. whatever they call it. They call it some auxiliary package, the traffic package, the hot weather package, the like. No, this one's okay. Package, whatever they call it, get that. Is it sure. a second car? It's the package. <laughs> no, it's the package is based on like all the shit that broke on Alex Roy's in the first two years. Gotcha. Yeah. The you're gonna use it package, like the urban whatever package. Yeah. yeah. It's probably a third car, is what I think. <laughs> yeah. It's a bird scooter. Yeah. There you so, go. Uh, anything else? Have you guys seen the bird? Have you you guys seen the bird scooters? Do you come to the Everywhere. beach much? No. So there's these new scooters. It's a, you pay by what is it like a nickel for every minute? Or it's like seven cents a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you just leave them. Yeah. You find anywhere. them using an app. Anywhere. You unlock it with the app, and then you leave it anywhere, like all over the sidewalk or like in people's yards Weird. and shit. They're all lean, they're leaned up against my house like every day. People just leave. They're them. I saw. I mean, in LA they're really popular, and then in San Diego, just anywhere. And it's funny. Like I saw a guy wearing a suit just cruising around downtown San Diego, like. Oh, I just need to get somewhere. This is an easy thing to do, and everyone's like, "I want to have fun and be a kid again." Are you, like you when don't you say take scooter, your words from your building and then put it on the roof. <laughs> like when you say scooter, like what kind of scooter are you? Like, like a, razor, a razor, an electric razor scooter. Yeah. Whoa. Can you just Google Bird scooter, yeah, Tim? Because this is so we can be clear. It's Bird is the not. You can buy the scooters literally on Amazon for like five hundred dollars. Yeah, but do, think, so don't you want to? Oh, just, okay. Yeah, yeah. These yeah. little fucking things. They actually are kind of quick. They go like fifteen miles yeah. an hour. Dude, the brakes are sketchy, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I took one to your house yesterday, and I was coming down the hill to Main Street in Santa Monica, and I you had not, down I had not <laughs> tried the brake yet until I was coming right up the fucking Main Street. You're talking about the giant hill down Ocean Park that ends at a red light? That is correct, sir. <laughs> oh, man. I know that hill. <laughs> you see that story That story recently that Waze is routing people through some super steep street? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's over in, like, Echo Park or yeah. whatever. Yeah, and the people steep, are, like... super street in America or whatever yeah. it is, yeah. Fifth steepest, Pe- I think. People are, like... Are, are getting like longer wheelbase vehicles are getting like high centered at the top <laughs> of the hill like it's a thing like you can't t- people can't take like a commercial truck over there because it'll it'll just get stuck at the top and of the i hill. guess I'm when sure. it was raining people were like kind of oh, mobbing yeah. and then Ending just up like yards and locked up and yeah because they reverse they think you know the best thing to do now up this hill when it's wet let's go in reverse and we can like just a model back t? down <laughs> slowly <laughs> no no problem that has the torque the clear electric torque just wheel spin <laughs> Yeah. That's why I wrote a um, I wrote one of those one wheels this week. Oh you know, really? The Were you able to do it? I was able to do it, but what I, I have a thing where as soon as I get on something like that, and I'm like, oh, I kind of got this, and I try to go as fast as possible. And then you and, don't. And go going up. quick is okay, but it's the slowing down and stopping I hadn't oh. really worked on. <laughs> and that is Didn't when that it gets with wobbly the and board for you too. Yep. Where you're like, oh, I got this. Wait, and then you ate shit. Get yeah. off. And it, then right? I don't get, get. And actually, one of the guys who I was working with, who was like that thing, right? a semi pro snowboarder, he's like, the hardest part of this is getting on and off. So how do you get on and off? You hop on and then commit, and then it, and then it like you hop on and it gyro stabilizes, and then it stays flat for you, and you lean forward or back, and it'll go forward back or slow down. But what's weird is once you get to like top speed, it starts wondering if you're still wanting to go faster, so it starts slowing down a little bit for you, and then it gets a little weird. Hmm. Uh. So it's it's pretty cool, and it's pretty intuitive if you if you've ever like snowboarded or skateboarded, but then you have a couple of moments where it's not as easy as those other things and that can bring up questions. Um, and you're like, oh I should have worn leathers while I wore <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that totally looks like something you'd have to have like like those devil sticks while you get on it. Like they they come with it when you buy it. Like, yeah. like it's really, really yeah, yeah. it's really it's, the uh, kind of instant I'm too cool for this place like, like, option. Yeah. To go visit my girlfriend the fire swallower. Oh, those are the roller skate ones. That's one where you put like 
like an that, outward well, rim that is just on each foot. That's some Back to the Future shit. That is Back to the Future. That is only seventy nine ninety nine. I mean, that is a bargain right yeah, there. Put your life between your eyes. That, how, that, how strong is your groin? Because <laughs> you're gonna find out. Like, it looks I mean, like a trip to like a, a like the urologist or something. That, you're gonna break something on that. You're oh gonna tear. God. You're gonna tear. And I just imagine you just coming. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring my boardless skateboard to the skate park. Watch me. I don't think we can. Uh, I don't think we can break the space-time continuum by playing a YouTube video on YouTube. I mean, basically, it's a, it's a wheel around each one of your feet because we have, I forgot we have a lot of audio listeners. So <laughs> it's like a, you're going to have one wheel around each foot. They roll independently, and that and they're not tied together at all, which at worries all. me hugely. At all. Right. Uh, and the guy's about to go down a hill, which doesn't seem like a good idea. And as I think yeah. as Carl mentioned, the splits could certainly be in your future in those. Oh God. Not ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine being like the friend of the guy that invented that and like having him come to you and ask like, hey, I just invented this thing in my garage. Do you want to try it out? <laughs> like, what, nope. do you, what do you say to that? Like, uh, remember they, the remember the fucking, I just listened to that Action Park dollop. I was listening, going back to the old video. You guys know Action Park? Mm. It's like a water park from Jersey in the 70s and 80s. Well, I and really don't know what that they, is. It was a fucking free for all. And it was just so many, it, it got the nickname Class Action Park because so many people get hurt <laughs> Find there. the YouTube doc on it. It's like 10 minutes long. Yeah, watch it. It was awesome. Wow. It was unbelievable. Yeah. You yeah. can't, and they would like, they came, this guy came that up with the, a, the, loop. the cannonball loop yes. water slide. Tim, get us a picture of the cannonball loop water slide because it's a real fucking thing. And the and bloody if, noses. If at home oh. you're going, hang on a second, water slides can't loop. Well, that's this guy true. built one, <laughs> and there it is. Yep, top left, and that's fucking real. <laughs> it's a cra- oh my it's a, god! It's a crazy straw <laughs> with uh, you know leaning against scaffolding. But the problem they realized, I think, was there was no water source on at the, the top. top of the loop, so yeah. you just stop because it was dry plastic, <laughs> and then fall down on your face <laughs> and then smash the your the loop. nose. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and there, there was like exposed wiring stories. They were and, paying people to try it out. The staff of the park, the owner of the park, was giving like a hundred bucks to fucking try this. So many people <laughs> went to the hospital. I, I don't think it was a hundred, Matt. No, it was. It was the seventies. That was, was a lot. Was I, I think it was real cheap. No, yeah. it was not real cheap. It was a hundred bucks. Oh, fine. They had to pay the staff to try this fucking thing. Did you? Know, there was one just recently that was designed totally without engineering at all. And yeah, that didn't end up. And too someone good. died. No, yeah, yeah, no. The, I think the people might go to jail. They, it's, there, it's a big a, problem. It's a they, real, they built, it, it this one's got money behind it, it right here. Decapitate the child as yeah, well. Yeah, I did. Loop. What does that say? Looping. <laughs> it's back. It's the back. cannonball loop is back. What does that say? Looping water slide thought impossible in test phase. What is the date of that article? 2015. Yeah, yeah. That New did not Jer- make it New out Jersey. of test fade. Yeah, and okay, of course, but, it's in fucking New Jersey. Is it in oh. the resurrected action park? Yes, it is. Is it? It is exactly in the action <laughs> park. <laughs> <laughs> they would uh the cannonball loop was a brainchild of some swiss guy they imported this reaction park and so they were giving out a crisp hundred dollar bill oh, to test it sorry um, stand corrected that was my last ride a hundred dollars did not buy enough booze to drown out the memory yep uh, uh, uh. crazy wow. that's fucking great that's oh, so nice of course they tried to bring back the cannonball loop. At least this looks legitimate. Yeah, I mean, it's got lighting and everything. Right. Very, very good point. <laughs> it's got steel involved in it. Hopefully that's a water source yeah. on the loop part. Uh, also, like I like, like how do we solve the problem? More velocity. Make it nearly vertical. When you go, it's like that's yeah. it. nothing, 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 and then vertical. <coughs> More speed, son. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a <laughs> properly vertical drop. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's real scary. Yikes. Wow. That's very scary. Anyway, you guys want to talk about cars? Do you, oh, yeah. you have anything interesting? Drive anything interesting recently? Uh, I mean, I'm driving the Stinger a lot, but I, I just sent my Mercedes to the shop again. Oh no! Yeah. What type of Mercedes, and what was the issue? It's a 1970 280 SE. Oh, yeah. that's the issue. Yeah, that's the, that, <laughs> as it turns out. Yeah, don't daily drive one. How long did you get daily driving it? Well, I, it's been in the shop probably Is that almost it? almost as much. Uh, no, it's not a coupe. It's a sedan. It's just, oh, it's a 280 SE sedan like yeah. that. It's kind of like that, but green. Yeah. <laughs> I hope, does it have multi, all the hubcaps? <laughs> oh yeah, every hubcap. Wait, what year's Gluckers? Have you seen his? Yeah, his is a couple years after mine, and I think he bought his after we came and did Hooniverse, and he lost his just lost his damn mind because I drove it in, and he's like, "Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like that. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so that's that's back in the shop uh, as of this morning. And what's oh, the what's no. the running total in that for 2017 and 2018, Carl? Um, <laughs> fun story. So I bought, I bought 
I paid ten five for the car, uh-huh. which was a pretty good deal. It's one 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 owner car before me. Yeah. All the all the records. Uh, we're I think we're into it fifteen grand already. Okay, after how long? A year and a half. It's not as bad as I would have thought. That's and over was, oh. over and on top of the price of the car. Oh, 15 that's, over. Oh, that's yeah, a lot. Yeah. I thought you meant oh. total. Ouch. Yeah. No, and it's that, rough. And how many you could have gotten days half off an the road? For that. I could have. He could. <laughs> It's, it's almost We're like going to kill this horse it's together. Gonna, it's going to really get he to the territory pretty soon. 2019? 2019? Good. 15 grand on it. Wow. Sucks. And how much, all, how much downtime? A lot. Months. Months? Yeah. Oh, no. the, um, the cylinder head went and like, oh, it, it, not the gasket, but the, the head itself corroded internally. And um, they had to find a new cylinder head for the car, which was fun. Oh, um, that takes Was the cylinder head months. going to Nantucket? Oh, or yeah, pretty like much. That? Why was it? It was, vacation, it, it was using vacation as a verb. How did it corrode it's from the inside? Summer is um, <laughs> So it's a, it's a iron block and uh, aluminum head. And then they, somebody left the, that green, the regular old green coolant in it, which is super acidic and, uh-huh. and eats aluminum. But they left it in the car for like a few years before I bought it because it just sat. And... Yeah, all of a sudden, oh, I was like, sucks. my I thought my head gasket had blown, but there was no, no other signs of it being blown. Like, it, yeah, so it was leaking through from somewhere else. Yeah, oh, so it was leaking through the head. That sucks. Dude. Yeah, that so. sucks. But oh. you know, it's nice. I've got a lovely old uh, German mechanic there on Santa Monica, and I'm pretty sure I put a new wing on his house last year. <laughs> put a new wing on his Ferrari. Yeah, kept kept oh, him in Hawaiian no. vacations for the year. Dude, that sucks. Yeah, but it's a beautiful car, and I love it so much. I I'm such a sucker. Like <laughs> extremely unfortunate though. Yeah, it probably no. looks nice. Oh, it's yeah, it's great. It looks. You you are the Zach Bowman of car ownership. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, what about very you? Apt. Well, what no, I you? took uh, my Chevy Traverse Lona on a test day. How'd at the go? race track. How'd well, it, I wait. What? Th- you took a Chevy Traverse to a track? Yeah, track day. In a Traverse? Yeah. How'd that go? Well, I I had a <laughs> whale of a time, but the people behind me didn't appear to think it was that good because it was a no overtaking track day. Oh no! no. Well, it was done. Oh no! Was they got to practice lap. their lines. It was great. Oh my god! You lead. You didn't lead. Follow. Exactly. They just didn't know it. Involuntary lead. Follow. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! But they got to see my style and give me tips on how good I was. Really? And they how, told me and, and I see number one a lot in my rearview mirror. It was great. How was the traverse? <laughs> it was. It handled great. It was totally fine. It was, funnily enough, it has a lot of grip. Funnily. Who knew? Say funly. Yeah, funly enough. Fun, uh, fun L Y, funly. No, he, he's British. They can just invent stuff. They just invent words, it. Yeah. and it yeah. sounds smart instead of what and you so just go along with them. Yeah. What was your word the other day? You had a good word. Uh, bezel? Yeah, bezel. Yeah. <laughs> a bezel is the ring that goes around the gauges in your car. A bezel. There you go. No, no. A bezel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't it funly to say? <laughs> funly enough. Yes. Somebody tip the man. Tip Zach. For, <laughs> someone on the super chat. Tip Zach for the fun, for bezel. Um. So shit. It, funly is a real word. Oh, where do we want to go from here? What else we have happening? Anything? Anything? I mean, Bueller? There, there's Facebook questions. Are there? Um, oh, let's get to, let's go to some of those. We're bringing an interactive show. Oh, talk show. about your E63 AMG perfection. Oh, the Vogan. Mm. Uh, E63S Vogan. Ooh. Oh, well, yeah. The low price of $123,000. Vogan. You get 600 horsepower. That's two, two and a half drive. i3s? Get two yeah. and a half. Yeah, it is. 2.2, like children. Uh, nine gears, all wheel drive, a lot of noise, a lot of fun. Fucker rips very, very fast. Uh, best gearbox I've used in a Mercedes. Mm, okay, good. I will say, I think. Even though there are a lot of gears, that's the. It's like a weird, like wet <clears throat> clutch, dual Is it clutch. wet clutch or dry clutch. What do they do with wet? I wet clutches. I think it's wet clutch, like a motorcycle. Yeah, wet clutches. A moist uh, clutch. It's a Is damp it clutch. It's a damp clutch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a wet clutch. <laughs> yes. Um, it's, it's a Mercedes damp clutch. Gearbox. When you tell you bought it in a Mercedes, though, it's a wet clutch. That's right. Um, it's a pretty good balance between like a torque converter and a, and a dual clutch. Yeah. I think actually, that's you know, BMW's dual clutch. Uh, in the M3 is great, but I don't know if y'all noticed this in the press release, but the new M5 is not dual clutch anymore. It's no. automatic now. Yeah. That's not good. So <laughs> this may, this may, I haven't driven the new M5 yet, but this could be the best, maybe the best gearbox in the segment. We'll see. Word, but around, it's, word around the campfires that the new M5 is really good. That's what everyone says. It says it's really fast. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw one at a, at a Cars and Coffee. It was dull looking, man. Well, that's the point of them. I was very more dull than normal. Yeah. Okay. It should be it should be stealth, but not not dull. All right. It was dull. I don't know. Look at that. Yeah. That's someone is good at taking pictures of their E sixty three wagon in what looks like Dockweiler. Um I didn't have those wheels. Those are cool fucking wheels. 
Um, it's just a good color for that car too. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Autobahn Motors, uh, a Sonic Auto store that hooked me up with the uh, the loan of that car for a week, dude. So for every day, that's really nice. They don't make them; they soften the ride too. It's oh, not good. as stiff anymore. In comfort yeah. mode, oh, it's really really nice. And I drove it into San Francisco and the shitty roads, and it was all right. And uh, and uh, and I drove it up on uh, the videos out now. I drove it up on Skyline up in the mountains, and it is fast and i saw this crew of uh, miata driving hooligans up there and they recognized me and i piled five up in there and we just like mobbed down sky and they were all bugging out on their snapchats and shit so <laughs> it's awesome. good you can do that five up in the e63 wagon it seemed much quieter in the drive-bys than old amgs was it could have been yeah oh, actually another thing i noticed um also in the uh 550 xi the thing i just edited for you yeah is it seems like um, tire noise is going up even though interior volume is going down. Because like you said, you yeah. picked a loud, a bumpy road for that to I test did. it. So there was both the E63 and the 550. As you would approach or leave the camera, what I was hearing most of was tire noise. Tire noise. But inside is getting quieter and quieter. So mm -hmm. I'm wondering if that's, if it's if tire noise has always been that loud or if the, sh or if the grip, or um, sorry, the tread design of things Comfortable, it's comfortable, it's got good grip, all that stuff. It's making tire it noise louder. is getting louder. I don't hmm. know. No, that's interesting. It was just talk. really noticeable o over the AMG soundtrack by quite a bit. I remember in the M6, I had loud tires. I didn't think about it in the 550, and, I, and they were PS4Ss and not loud in the AMG in in the car. But right. I don't it's know. Interesting outside. Hmm. Oh, look, see? We got, you got, you earned us $2 for Funly. Thanks. I think that's spelled incorrectly, though. How do you spell it? Funnily enough, I think someone confirmed it is a real word. Isn't that right? I said it was a real word with that spelling. Ah. Oh, it was? There you go. According to the definition, oh, F-U-N-L-Y is a, uh, a term. Yeah. Or were you, were you saying funnily? Funnily. Oh, F-U-N-N-I-L-Y. <laughs> Well, yeah. we should refund this money. We got to go yeah, back exactly. exactly. Yeah. Again. They're going to wreck well, on the last 20 it. minutes. Matt said funnily, so he's maybe he's getting the I repeated it funnily. There you go. You said See. it. Look, Andrew Lamb from New Zealand in NZ Dollars. Uh -huh. What up, Andy? Says Beezlebub. Beezlebub has a gauge <laughs> put aside for me. Excellent. Good job, Andy. We love you. And we love the regular 96 today as well. The what? The regular 96. What's More the, Euros. He's got he's us, he's got us Euros. three times. He's the mini fan. Oh, is he just like... He's the mini Is it like guy. we're dancing on a pole and he's mm -hmm. throwing yeah, singles exactly at us? <laughs> he's just throwing Euros. What's a butt for? Showing Euros. out the window. Um, all right, here's another question. Are there any older wagon versions, European, that are worth getting into for do-it-yourself do mechanics? Oh. The free, Import like a three series wagon? Yeah, three series. E30 touring. E30 tourings are dope. That I would I would start there. You're from Europe, I hope. Or, well, England, hopefully somewhere. It's just, or it's, just he's not. Shit up. He's from Brooklyn. E30 it's just an touring? affectation. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah, I'd say so. Are E34s hard to work on? Like, can you get an M5 tour? I've never tried to work on one, but I don't know. I know a couple of people who work on their own E34s. They can't be that difficult. Simpler than a new one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> M M5 touring, Audi S2. That would be sick. Oh, uh, yeah. All of them. Nomad. No Great. What? <laughs> Nomad? Oh, yeah, you want to go Americana, you can go yeah. Chevy Nomad for sure. I still want to get a, a fucked up um, Eagle. Like an AMC oh, yeah. Eagle? Yeah. And do something with it. There you go. They're, just, they're entertaining. It's a rally car already. I right. just feel like it's so much truck. It's just so truck. I bet you it drives like a fucking yeah. blazer. It probably does, does but it's like, like, like oh, there you go. That was Safari before that was a thing. It was like, let's take a truck and put on a, or take a truck chassis and put a car on top of But it. no, 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 no. The problem is you said truck chassis. Uh -huh. It's not a truck chassis. It's a car chassis. It has to be sports car dynamics. Just lift it. It's not truck chassis. You just got to bolt a bunch of Hotchkiss shit to it. It'd be great. Uh, <laughs> is, that all? is that all? Just that's bolt, what, bolt a bunch of Hotchkiss shit? Is that what they do at Baja? Look, uh, I pronounce things Beazle, so do I know what I'm talking about? No. Nope. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. Anything else before we wrap this one up? Camaro. Do you guys want to plug anything? Are you doing a thing? Where oh, can yeah. we find your podcast? You can find it on iTunes. Is yeah. it there yet? Not yet. I mean, no, you, no. you will find it on iTunes. It fucking better be by the time this show goes up. Oh, yeah. Get yeah. on it, bitch. I mean, you know. It's a for, new show. For our people listening live, you're boned. But people <laughs> listening in the future, you, yeah, 100%. It's, it's just, it's no breaking. You can go to shoutengine.com. Slash no breaking. Slash no breaking. There or find, us, find me on the old Instagrams at no breaking or on Facebook at no breaking or even at the website at, which is www.nobreaking.com. No there yeah. you go. You have really engineered correct 
SEO for this podcast to succeed. I've tried. Yeah, yeah, did you, really you pile did. up a few episodes before uh, yeah. you're going to go air? Go, yep. to, go, to, go to air? Yeah. You betcha. Great. Uh, yeah. Last chance. If you guys want to get on Super Chat, we're going to wrap this up in a couple minutes. So if you have a question, log go to our, get on fucking YouTube and get on Super oh. Chat. Do we have any, is our fucking live stream still live or are we dead? No, it's still going. How many people are watching oh, our shit? Can you tell? 351. Oh, that's oh, like nice. not nobody. Wow. Not, with that's no not announcement, nobody. we just threw it up. Yeah, I mean, next time we'll, ne- we'll try and advertise this fucking shit. Amazing. I guess, oh, right? Mayhem. What's yes. that say? Average live view duration, nine minutes? Yeah. That's, eh. as, that's as much of me as I can stand, too. I mean, that's Same. way more of me than I can stand. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, um, huh. I should totally plug my real job. Otherwise, they're going to mace me <laughs> when I'm done. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, if you uh, like, you know, future stuff like uh, technology, car technology and uh, EVs and uh, autonomous driving, that kind of stuff, check out The Road Show. What do you see? Where can we find the roadshow first off? www.theroadshow.com. Oh, it's perfect. CNET's automotive blog. Perfect. Yeah. Alex Roy has been going very aggressive in the uh, autonomous can, category. Can I literally please beg you to not get me started about that guy? I think he's I actually think he's right. He's no, it's it's super entertaining, but yeah. it's like everything he says is the most inflammatory thing in the world. I'm sorry. Don't you know how the internet works? Yeah, I do. Yeah. You want to get eyeballs on a new shit. That's, that's what true. you gotta do. That's I what guess. people do. I should get a scarf. people are, people most people put YouTube videos up and use like nineteen exclamation points in their shit. That's true. It's really annoying. Yeah. yeah. But I that's know, I know it's how it works. But Alex does it like with effort and fun. Yeah, no, for sure. Well, yeah, he backs it up with a lot of writing instead of like just whatever your vlog is, but it's uh, greatest hammer ever, 14 exclamation points. And it's just, and then you click and it can be like nothing content, but the title and the center, and the center card gets yeah. you there. Yeah. He, no, he definitely puts in the effort. Like, and he's like, you know, he's like definitely he putting research work into it. He researches all his shit and he, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah for, for sure. sure. Like, I'm pro, I'm pro Alex Roy, but. Are you pro human driving association? I could be. I'm I pro human driving association. I'm not really. Yeah, I'm not really in the autonomous car camp. I, I just got fired, by the way. I think. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, it's yeah. It's at yeah. least you've got no braking to fall back on. Yeah, that that sweet cash cow. I'm a big fan. Of the uh, the E63 that I had had um, the sort of semi autonomous features. Yeah. Um, that stuff is great. Yeah, I mean, it's nice in traffic. The Volvo right. S90 mm-hmm. where you do the driving assist that does helps you fun you keep your hands in the steering wheel it's yeah. great I mean and then you press the indicator and it moves lanes cool it's you know, pretty it's neat fun. it yeah. helps you deal with traffic like yeah. the driver assistance mm-hmm. stuff is is great because it, most of it works pretty well but then you get into stuff like autopilot by Tesla which is the worst name ever it for something it is not a good name it is not because like people just assume that it can do its thing it could just take over but it, it really can't the name no. has no nuance to it no it's in, and you're like oh no no it's not it's not actually autopilot like, oh okay yeah but te- and then i swimming pool. fucked up oh it's not a yeah. swimming pool <laughs> no 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 because technically the autopilot on a boat or a plane is very similar to tesla's autopilot the problem is most people do not make the incorrect association and like what's it like on, on a boat i have no like idea. on a boat if you said autopilot it will hold now there are some very expensive very advanced autopilots that will avoid objects most autopilots throughout history will hold a course Right. Mm-hmm. And you have to then watch out for shit along that course. Right. Same with a plane. But yeah. I would say that plane and boat have less things to avoid, so they didn't well, they have to design that in. Exactly. That's that's the point. So like um an an autopilot in a car clearly, you know, is a much more advanced cruise control system, but it's not an auto fucking driver. Right. Yeah. And then that's why they're kinda of running into problems, I think. But yeah, like like all the, the, the like full autonomy stuff is still I'm not I'm not convinced yet. Like obviously, if, neither am I. Yeah, but um, I, I'm not sure they should be letting them test on public roads either. Yeah, but. the whole Arizona situation was pretty sketch. Now yeah. California is allowing permitting for fully driverless testing, but California is pretty hardcore with like all of the follow through that the companies need to do and having them be monitored and so on and so forth. Yeah. The Arizona thing felt pretty fly by night. Like, yeah, man, no, it's cool. Just come like hang out and, and test your driverless cars on our roads. Don't worry about it. It's kind of what it felt like. Arizona loves anything that gets them attention or money. Right. And as, yeah. as a lot True. of states would. Sure. If you also have a lot of space. Mm hmm. You know, Arizona is oh, yeah. not nearly as densely populated. I, like, I don't give a shit if they're if you made a rule saying like 
California like deserts, you know, like outside of like Barstow or mm. whatever, like just those lonely ass roads, and like that wouldn't that would be okay, but that's not going to help us much. But that might right. stop you fifty five mile an hour time. So when you get into Vegas, <laughs> right. yeah, I can pass. You can pass out there. It's very civil once you get out there. That's right. But they, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's in the all their company's best interest to collectively build a city and let all of them test in one fake real city. Well, that's, um, what was it? Ford was doing their mm-hmm. testing with the fusion just like around the Ford campus. You yeah. Know? So there were, there were things happening, but uh, <clears throat> I don't know. It just, maybe there was like a legal, it was easily more easier legally to test in their property. Oh yeah. hundred percent. Know what's happening. Yeah. That, and that's the thing too is, is making sure like the public's informed and, and so on and so forth. Or one of the things that's interesting is like with California, in order to test autonomous cars, even if you have a safety driver, you have to file what's called a disengagement report. Right. So you have to like tell the state every time a human driver had to take over and you have to explain the circumstances and all this other stuff. But like, you know, other it's, states don't have that. It seemed like uh, Waymo had way more miles logged. Oh, way yeah. more miles logged. Yeah. Than, like thousands of miles per disengagement. It's it, Yeah. I mean, I think they did like over half a million miles of testing yeah. um, for 2017. And I think they had something like slightly, I saw some, it was some like, ridiculously it, low number of disengagements. It was an average of like 5,300 miles between disengagements, which Whoa. is a ridiculous feat mm-hmm. of yeah. engineering. No but, still, yeah. but still totally not good enough to be no, like, no, no, yeah, no. which is the thing. No, no, no. Not yeah. good enough to be let alone. But right, like, totally. But pretty fucking impressive. Yeah, I, mean, oh, we'll get, but I don't think get, I yeah, go 5,300 sure. miles before someone goes, oh! You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh, there. I mean, when Kyle's driving, it's like, uh, maybe five. Right. right. Tops, yeah. tops. Yeah. That's right. Uh, let's just wrap this one up with Mr. Jack Thompson wants to know, is a 2010 Lexus LS460 a good daily? Sure. That's like Full the size. Whole, that's but, the whole point of it. But he had a follow-up. <laughs> Will it be too boring? The follow-up is going to be too boring because he's coming out of an old E38 750i, which was the James Bond one, the, the dope boxy one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it also had kind of a terrible V12. So Yes. So the Lexus will work all the time, and if you think that's boring, then... You know, maybe you know, it'll be boring. What's the what's the 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 thing that says computers get twice as fast and half the size? And what's the what's the that Turing, thing? Is that a tor- the Turing I, rule? I no, the Turing test is like AI. I don't know, but like three years when the 750 like came out. Moore's I remember, law is it Moore? Moore's law? Moore's, Moore's law. law. Thanks, Tim. Yeah. When the 750 came out, which was in '96, they were bragging that it had more technology than the space shuttle. But the space shuttle came out in like '78, which was actually not good for the 750, mm-hmm. and they're rough. Yeah, if you want a rear drive full size sedan that is well made and has some power, a 460 is solid, mm-hmm. and it will not probably give you the problems that a 750 will. It's true. Um, I think that worked. Our live stream worked. Hopefully. People contributed. I think so. On our shit. All oh, right. Yeah. If if people get involved and we promote this properly, we may yet be able to abandon the concept of advertising. Amazing. Very cool. Which, but so if, if, but if, if you can't, you've got the the salmon pants. Mm-hmm. People to fall always, back on. I can always have salmon True. pants. Well, right? we could open a store always that's salmon pants salmon and more. Pants. There you go. So it's not just salmon pants. More oh, than salmon, salmon pants. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I, I don't. I I crash bombed in my own head. I, 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 I could, no, I had to stop myself before Restart. I get bad. Sure. Kyle and James, I wish you the finest of luck with your podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you you are local, so you obviously have an open invite to return and talk cars with us and be on the list of rotating regulars. Perfect. Radical. Um, and uh, yeah, no braking everywhere. Everything slash no braking. Correct. Shout engine, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah. Website. Basically. Yeah. yeah. All the things. When do you launch? Fucking before this goes up. Yeah. Yes. All right. Cool. You guys know where to find us. Thank you, live audience. I appreciate Thank your you questions everyone. and your stuff. I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, and if you're listening to this at home later, I hope you enjoy it too. Smoke Tire Podcast, powered by Shout Engine. Get your own damn podcast at shoutengine.com. You know the drill. You talk into the microphone, the things happen, and then people listen. Good day.